All right, now. Oh, we're... it says we're live. Ooh, You're I'm... live. Oh, I'm sweating now. Me too. Right. Wow, it's okay. All right, so now that was a little bit um, strenuous. Yeah, let's hope. Stressful. Oh, Hopefully uh, people come. I didn't check the mic. Hey, look, it's, oh. Can you check the mic? How do I do that? Click on the microphone, maybe? Where? Down there? No, that mutes us. Oh, no. I hope people can hear. Me too. Oh, You're we're good. good. Okay. All right. Thanks, cool. Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Wonderful. So we have you guys on our TV too, so we can actually see the chat so that we're not looking at the laptop screen. Yeah. So hi from Norway. Mike is good. Hi, Helen. Hi, Germany. Germany. Did I say, wow. I think I said Norway and I actually. You did Norway. Norway. Oh, oh, I thought I missed something. We're actually quite bright. Yeah, we're very bright, but it doesn't look bright on our computer. Yeah, it doesn't look bright on the computer, but we're very yeah. bright. So we're coming to you live today. So this is a bit of a different podcast. Yeah, it'll be like a little hybrid, yeah. kind of chill. Yeah, so hi, we hi. are. Oh, oh there's, there's Norway. Jeff. You did say Norway. I did say Norway, and there's so maybe Jeff. you predicted it. From our knit nights. Oh, oh, Adriel, hi. It's her son. We're friends. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Mm. All right, guys. So we're going to kind Oh, I didn't expect that. What? I took a sip of your iced tea, <laughs> and I was expecting iced tea in here. No, you have coffee. coffee. Which is so, delicious, but I just, I wasn't. Naughty Thistle, hello from Alberta, hello, Canada. Wilshire. We have South Alberta, Carolina. Canada. Did you say that already? I did. Seattle, uh -huh. Kelly from Seattle. Hey, I know Kelly from Instagram. Oh. Well, we're well. Thanks, Austin. Yes, we are doing well asking. today. Hey, I'm Chandra from Colorado. How are you? We're good. We have a, a one of our really best friends is Chandra. Yeah. One of our really um, good friends. Okay. Oh, and there's Nancy. Oh, hi, Nancy. Good morning. Hi, she Nancy. said she was had her coffee and knitting already. Oh, good. I have my iced coffee. So this no, means, that's not iced coffee. No, this is iced tea. No, guys. It's, iced it's tea. totally not iced coffee. This is from David's Tea. This is the uh, Country Lemonade. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this is We've delicious. been on a David's Tea kick, trying out like the different flavors. Yeah, the, this They're one's very delicious. Good. I highly recommend the Country um, Lemonade. It yeah. reminds me of an arm, like I have something in my throat, like an Arnold Arnold Palmer, which is the combo of iced tea and lemonade. Oh, there's Caleb. Hi, Caleb. Where? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh. So, welcome, everybody. Yes, this welcome. Is episode 15 of Needles at the Ready. This yeah, it's kind of weird to say live. that we're having like an episode, but yeah. We're going to um, do it like a hot, like kind of like an episode. It'll be like, a, oh, there's my mom. Hi, mom. Oh, hi. Hi, guys from Mom and Rosie. Oh, oh hi, Rosie's Rosie. watching. Hi, Rosie. Is it? Welcome. There's Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Actually, wait. When you said what? <laughs> Nancy, <laughs> Nancy waved at us. <laughs> oh, I in like real life? Oh, look, it's Maria oh. from Connecticut. It's so fun. Hi, Maria from Connecticut. Hi, Maria. Um, so, yeah, so this so is bits of memories. Sunday, July 19th. July 19th. We're it's... coming to you from our living room, which yes. is also in Stratford, Connecticut. It is in Stratford, Connecticut. Um, um, we have our dog Tarquin, who's currently laying at the back door pouting because he's oh, yeah. whatever today. Well, we went for a very long walk this morning. Yep. It's like 93 degrees right now. Um, oh, yeah. So it's it was disgusting. very warm. He was like trotting very slowly uh on our on our little walk today yeah and he had a busy day yesterday we had we a did. we've had a good week right it was so, it's a, it was a busy week i think this week so we did our normal recording last saturday yes. and so just with that guy i don't know that we've had so much activity on the channel within the past week so we just want to thank everybody yeah again. thank you all um tons of comments a bunch of new subscribers so for all the new people um welcome, welcome. Thank you for checking us out and commenting and liking and subscribing we appreciate it um and then Sunday was cool. After Sunday was uh, really fun. Oh, Amy, happy little yarn. Hi, Amy. Um, Sunday was cool. All these people. I know. I um, taught my goddaughter, Layla, probably like two to three years ago, how yeah. to knit one night. They came over. We did, grilled some pizzas, and we had some um, s'mores outside. And I taught her how to knit, and I sent her home with some yarn and with my carbon straight needles. And she knit for a little bit. You sent her home with carbons? Yeah, because I don't use straight needles. So... I I've always she, wanted to try them. That was before my knitting. Yeah, that was way before, that was two to three years ago. So I gave that to her and she reached out to me last weekend and she wanted some help with her knitting. So we did a little Instagram FaceTime um, and then I found out that her parents, my good friends, uh, Kelly and Gary, they are both knitting as well now. So it's like a little family thing. 
So we did that Sunday. And then yesterday you went and hung out with your brother. Yesterday I went and hung out with my brother. We're supposed to get another tattoo yesterday. Um, I only have the one tattoo here. And um, I was, and it took a lot to get that tattoo. My brothers, both of my brothers have a lot of tattoos. Ooh, sorry. Hi, Lisa. Have, um, I said hi, Lisa, earlier. Oh, I missed that. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Hi, There's a lot. Hi, Lisa. Hi, everyone. Um, anyway, so it was, we were supposed to get a tattoo, I think yesterday. Yep. And, um, the tattoo artist wasn't able to do it. We were going to kind of do like, uh, you know, one at a time and oh, people are like my Instagram. I probably should have turned off notifications for a it's little bit. Fine. Oh, you're on my TV. Hi. <laughs> we're on our TV too. We're on our TV. Too. <laughs> um, but anyway, it didn't happen. So my brother and I just got, uh, we got some wings. There's a new wing place in Stratford. Um, called Wing It On, which is a funny name. So we got like four different flavors of wings. We just hung out, had a couple of beers. We've since hung, like we hung out from our, like my mom's birthday. Yeah, so we hung out. So everybody. we're like slowly trying to like expand our little bubble. Yeah. So he's in our bubble. So, so it was nice to be able to like hang out and do that. Um, yeah, and you took Tarquin with you? I took the dog with me. So he, oh yeah, he was very active. Yeah, so he was pretty, um, pretty tired yeah. yesterday. They have a Yorkie as well. Max. Max. Maximus. Mm -hmm. So the cousins got to play. Um, and then I butterfly crochet in it. We love you too. <laughs> and then we went to my brother's house afterwards. Yeah. So my nephew for our nephew's 10th ten, birthday. I can't believe it was 10. I know. So we went there, we hung out for a little bit. We had to leave quite early. Yeah. Because, you know, fireworks. Dog doesn't right. like them. But we've now heard from him. So we've heard from our sister in law that her mom uses C B D oil for her dog. My brother has two larger dogs. Um, right. They're both mixed. And right. they also freak out a lot with fireworks and thunderstorms. So my mm. brother said that they were trying CBD drops and CBD treats from a CBD store. CBD. And say it CBD works really, I'm going to say CBD so many times. CBD. No. <laughs> so. <laughs> Why should that not even be the microphone? That I know. On? It's probably that one. But the CBD oil works really well. So. Um, it's something we're going to look into getting some treats. I guess you just kind of have to find the right dosage. There's not a lot of yeah. studies on it. So Crochet and Hoobian uses much. it for her dog. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So that's kind of where our week's been. I um, I actually FaceTime yesterday with my all three of the God kids. Right. And um, my really good friend, Kelly. She's like, we're so close. She actually started as... Um, a cannabis shop. No, it's not legal here. Oh, is that Karen? Karen? Yeah, it is Karen. Hi, Hi Karen. Karen. Um, but yeah, so I, I talked to them for a good like two to three hours yesterday, and hopefully we'll get something together where we all could knit, since they're all knitters. Yeah, that's that'd be really, really so cool. So that's good. Yeah. Um, so. So let's. um. We have, we have I guess we have a show to yeah. do. So we, we have our normal podcast. Yeah, we're going to try to interact with you guys as much as possible. Yeah. Um, Oh, so Kevin, I, speak so into the I voice. will speak. I'll find speak it. I have to find speak the moment. The I can't just do it. Something's going to have to come to me to do. No. Um, California seems to be shutting back down. Yeah, a lot of a lot of that stuff happening. Things yeah, it kind just, of it's going crazy down everywhere. A bit. I just yeah. saw um, an article earlier, like just maybe like a half an hour before, is that we saw in Texas, one county in Texas just confirmed 81 infants with coronavirus. Oof. So. So my cat likes CBD oil, works yeah. well on her. Yeah, it's definitely something we have to try. <laughs> Karen said she could send, send us some, some, I know. but then get arrested <laughs> for mailing drugs. <laughs> yeah, funny. It's, it's crazy out there. So, you know, it, so here's a good tip, though. If you guys do need masks, and I know there's a lot of makers out there making yeah, them, there and I don't know prices. We needed some just really quickly. We ordered them from Old Navy. We got 20 masks that are really well made They're very for well made. $50. Yeah. Um, and we did that just so that when I do go back into the office, if I need to bring two masks with me a day, I just have enough where I don't have to wash them every night. So yeah. this way, you know, we're safe. And if people come over and they want to use a mask, um, we have plenty of extra masks here. So Totes. always about trying to make people comfortable when they, you know, yeah. you never know what people are comfortable with. That's so, right. all right. So we, um, okay. we have some whips today. Uh huh. We have a really exciting thing today that yeah. I'm excited about. So, Let's, why don't we jump in and just a reminder with um, bags. Yes. So I think they're on um, I checked oh, today. They're over here. Um, so Naughty Knitting Sacks, um, we showed off their bags last week with a coupon code. 
I verified today that the coupon code is actually still in place yep. and she said it's good forever. So um, she's not able to join us today live, but she said she's going to check it out later. So I just wanted to throw it out there. And um, so go to Naughty Knitting Sacks on Etsy and use coupon code PRICKLEPANTS15 for 15% off your order. She said she got a couple of orders from um, from some of you folks. And I know oh, Cody, Cody. Yeah. from Cody Knits, Knits Podcast showed off a couple of his. Yeah, we got So we have um, – we are going to be giving away three of our bags, three of her bags um, here but we just wanted to kind of mention that just because we do have a coupon code and it's super exciting to have a coupon yeah. code. Um, so the bags that we have left are the uh, Harry Potter Marauders map bag. Now, hopefully that's not, is that backwards? No, no, no. I yeah. It looks like we're looking through Cobra a, Knits. Uh, Abigail, we're, I think we're in a, um, a mirror verse. So we might be in a mirror verse. No, see, it's not. No? No, it's beautiful? <laughs> okay, it's beautiful. So there's your our Marauder's map. So I think our natural lighting is a little bit nice. Well, it's thanks, pretty, to the, thanks to the sunlight. It's pretty bright over there. Yeah, and inside you have like those Funko Pop um, Harry Potter characters, which is really, really so, cool. And that's the fun thing is not all of her bags are naughty. Right. Some of them are nice. She has quite a few, um, she has quite a few like... Marvel superhero. Yeah, she has some Batman and Bat. Yeah, Woman she also Batgirl. has masks. She makes masks as well. We'll trade CBD for the <laughs> <laughs> totally <laughs> carry. <laughs> um, and then, all right. So then, the, oh then there's two gosh. more. This one's kind of fun, actually. Yeah, that's like a snaky skin reptilian yeah. type of thing. Yeah. Um, and then the insides are the same. I'll show the insides once. Um, once yep, my they're not um art. They're not kid-friendly. This These is really pretty. This is really cute. Um, really cute bag. <gasps> Amanda Knits. Three oh, sister knits. Hi, guys. Good. Wow. Look at all these famous people. <laughs> all right. And then inside are... These are naughty, guys. These so are naughty-ish. They're it, not the dinglings like last time. <laughs> but um, these are, these are fornicating, fornicating skeletons. <laughs> Here, let's turn it inside out. <laughs> I mean, Almost if you a, didn't know what they were doing. You would think that they were dancing. Maybe they were hugging. Maybe they were hugging and and sharing. Well, yeah. <laughs> totally not famous. Yes, you are, Amanda. So there's some, your there's some is of your, too. those skeletons up close and personal. We turned off the uh, four children before this podcast. So both of these have the uh, fornicating skeletons on the inside, which are absolutely hilarious. So, so next up is speaking of Amanda Nitz. Yeah. So guys, we love Amanda Nitz. She's, I think like one of the very first people who like reached out to us when we started. Um, yep. So we got to collab with Amanda. <laughs> That's some hug. Yeah, it sure was. <laughs> uh, I for one shocked and stunned. So we got to collab with Amanda on a, Nice little special project. We did. Can you say that into the microphone? Because that's like a very amazing no, thing. No, don't, don't push me to say things in the microphone. I'll say them on my own time. We collaborated with Amanda Nitz. Um, and it was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to collab with Amanda. and Yes. Wait till you see. So what we did. Oh, you can see mine. I can't even hide it. All right. So we collabed with Amanda. And she asked us to um, give her some favorite colors that we would like to see. And oh, it's the other microphone. See? What? It must be this microphone. Oh, interesting. Yeah. How do we change that? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know how to do it once we're live. Me neither. Does anybody know? Do, you have, do we have like stream settings somewhere? What if you go click? Yeah, click that. I can't. Click manage. I can't. What's Click this? that. Um, I don't know what you just Collapse said. menu. Yeah, collapse the menu. Uh, Son no, of a gun. Don't. That's going to mute it. Oh, yeah, it's not this microphone, see? Oh, that stinks. Oh, there's Isabella. Hi, Isabella. Hi, Isabella. Where is she? How did I miss? Oh, there's Isabella. Oh, man. That's our sister-in-law. 
I missed. I, I don't know what to do with the. Well, the, everybody's saying our volume's fine, so let's. I know. So we'll we're okay with that. Wham, wham. Right. We have this giant microphone that like yeah. nothing is happening. Um. So yeah. So we got to collab with Amanda Nitz. Um. She asked us to pick some colors, some colors that we would like to see. So we both yes. picked out our own, and she made some custom yarns based on those color choices that were absolutely in love. They're on a new base, which is 50% superwash merino and 50% silk. They're on a fingering weight yarn. Um, so it's 438 yards for hundred grams. My two colors of choice were blue and orange. And this is on her luminous base. And yeah. after, I believe after this ends, she's gonna be taking pre-orders. Yes, yeah, so I website. think- she could probably, I think pre-orders are open now. Okay. I think. And her website is amanda-knits.com. Yes. So my colorway that she created is called the Rise of Fox. Hi from Central, hi Central Washington. And here is the Rise of Fox. Oh my God, it looks so based good. Based on Harry Potter. Now the silk is like this, this is super soft and the yeah. silk gives it just a nice little sheen to it. I can't even like Yeah, they're beautiful. Look at this. Oh guys. So really beautiful tonal blue in it. There's some blue speckles and then this orange that just kind of leads into a peach color. And then you have some speckles up here. Mm-hmm. So, like, I can't even. I think, I think this might end up being um, the Radiate Shawl by Stephen West. Really? I believe so. I oh. like. I like. I can't even. I opened this up and I was blown away. I didn't know what to expect. She didn't send us pictures of it. Nope. Oh, hi from Reese. Oh my gosh, I can't even. Oh, hi Reese. <laughs> hi, Uncle Kevin. Hi, Uncle Ray. Hi, Uncle Kevin. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh. So. Um, they went to blueberry picking the other day and yeah. it was really, really um, cute because our, like the week beforehand, pictures popped up in our timeline of when we went like two or mm -hmm. three years ago. Yeah. So yes, guys. So this is the Rise of Fox, Harry Potter kind of theme. I love it I, so like, much. I can't even deal yeah. with this. I just love the, the tonality of it and the different, like the orange here. And then here you can see, um, wait, Oh, like, really? No, it's it's beautiful. Look at this. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then Ray. Okay. So you're on deck. Mine, I like. I'm dying. So, um, I also chose blues. Um, and then I wanted some yellow. And this is what this is what she came up with. This one's I'm taking the ball, ball band off. Uh, uh, what's look at the speckles? I love the gray in it. The gray. Oh, this is, is getting a little bit. Yeah, um, it's it's kind of blown out. Getting a little bit blown out. It's really not that like that highlighter. You know what I'm gonna do? What? I'm gonna get up. I'm just gonna. You gonna shut the blinds? Oh, but that's that's our TV. Actually, look at the computer. I'm just gonna do this. Do you guys know the name of this? Oh, it smells so good. It's the softest yarn I've ever felt in my life. This is exploding Cornish pixies. Freshly caught Cornish pixies. I know. You know what I thought about afterwards? Um, is both of these are, are you serious, guys? so pretty oh i i can't i just can't even i have no idea what i'm gonna do with this it's got to be something very special i don't trust my knitting skills just yet to like oh to do anything i don't know i have to think about it but this is super soft look at this yeah. mixture of the two right there oh like the, look at that like almost makes a green right there mm. that i just know uh, like i seriously can't it's ridiculous like ridiculous okay guys. so these are now I'm hoping, um, or if they're not, they will be. No, I think she said they are. 
Okay, so the pre so pre order is in place. Yes, or on or up. So or she's taking pre orders for both taking colorways. Taking pre orders for both colorways. So this again is exploding Cornish pixies, and this is rise of fox. Exploding Cornish pixies, and rise of fox. You know what's cool is that these I, are these are great. They're both from the second movie, right? Second movie is when Cornish pixies are shown, and rise of fox is when he calls down to, um, into the chamber of secrets. Oh my gosh. So, they're live for pre-order, so we got confirmation. And, um, so, she also on Instagram, if you don't follow Amanda, it's Amanda.nits on Instagram. No, Amanda-nits on Instagram. Amanda can correct us. Amanda.nits. Okay. And so, um, she kind of was taking a little bit of a impromptu, or a informal survey to see if anybody would be interested in a Harry Potter colorway or a color like club. So just throwing that out there, but these guys are up yeah. for pre-order. I love so that. So they're lovely. Yeah. Again, they're 50% super wash, super wash Merino and 50% silk. In her luminous base. Yes. Ba Brand new base. base. All right. It's so all about the base. Let's talk about some whips. Okay. I have I have a uh, hoe. You do? Oh yeah, you have a hoe. Yeah, it's I a have hoe. no fos. I I mean, I finished a, my pure droid. So and socks. You did, which was week. amazing. Yeah, and it's only been a week, and I'm not used to trying to be prepared for. Yeah, not that we I really. Did, I feel like much. we got a lot of knitting done, but obviously not. Uh, I don't, I don't, don't have any that. fos. Everything's pretty brand new. So I finished my Rose City Roller. Well, one. Um. So there's my. My my hoe, my half finished object. The, oh, this is actually this a man in it. So this is in her fox farts um, colorway. That's how it stripes up, how it knits up. I did these um, cuff down. I did a fish lips kiss heel, and these. This is in. Um, That's Felice stroll. stroll. That's stroll. And I believe some sort of heather, but I'll I'll show it because I started the other sock. It's like super in its infant stages, um, but I did a rounded toe there, and I think they knitted it yeah. up really nicely. Yeah, and it is um, fox farts. Fox farts. Yep. Oh, and Isabella in this mason jar is it's just tea, no vodka, but it is country lemonade tea from David's Tea, which I'm buying more because I love this one. Yeah, totally. It's really good. I took a sip, and I'm and you know how I feel about coffee. Um, and I kind of wish that I had made, I brewed some. Yeah. That's it's myself. delicious tea. Yeah. Um, I've been wanting to try the fish lips kiss heel, but does it hold up as long as, um, the slip stitch? Oh, so the, I don't it. know. I, I don't know. I can't answer that because I've only, I've only knit, I've only been knitting for a short amount of time. Let's see. How um, late are you? Somebody said, how late we've been not only at it for like 20 minutes. How right? late? 23 20, you know, minutes. Late. 26 minutes. 20, 20, oh, 23 minutes and three seconds. According to you, YouTubery. Um, so Valerie's saying it's not as sturdy, so I'm not quite sure. Um, but I'll, I'll be sure to let you know after I start wearing them. These do feel a lot more comfortable though. Um, but I can see that the slip stitches would make a yeah. more secure fabric, um, for sure. Um, but yeah. somebody asked, I just saw a question. Um, I've been wanting to, oh, fish. um, the needles you're using 2.25? So I'm using 2.25 and I'll show you on a um, eight inch circular needle. Eight inch circular needle. I don't know, does that, I don't even know where the microphone is. I don't know where the microphone is either. I don't know either, wouldn't but I feel like I just it, pulled a muscle in my back. <laughs> wouldn't it be funny if it's the microphone from the cam and oh, not from, from the, the camera? Laptop? We have two, we actually, we technically have. <laughs> I don't even know where it's coming from. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So. So I, ha I have, um, <laughs> how do we pick out our yarns? Huh. I think. Good question. I pick out, I think a lot of it I do, I pick out the project. I know what project I want and then mm -hmm. I find, I think I tend to find the project and then find the yarns unless, yeah, I think I do that. I think I pick the project, then the yarns. And then I build, build that when I have an idea of what I want to see. Yeah. I, I think I do both. So like, for example, the Fox farts, right? I loved it. I like, 
I eyed the skein. I had no idea what I wanted to do with it. Right. right? And that was like the first, one of the first yarns that we bought from um, Amanda. And then I was like, what can I do with this yarn? I want to find something for this yarn. And then that's what made me do the sock head slouch. Actually, so, right. it, you know, I guess it can go either way. But the last project, which I'll show you because I did cast it on, um, I didn't get very far. But with one of the projects, I chose the pattern first and then picked out the yarn to fit the pattern. Rachel so says, we'll, so I don't know. Have you tried German short rows? Never. No. And then Melissa. Are Fauna German short rows similar to like a heel flap and gusset? Like, is it just know. like a normal, like a heel No, flap? I would feel like, because German short rows, I feel like it would be similar to more like a fish lips or a afterthought heel, German short rows. Oh, because you're, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, because you don't I don't know. We'll watch, maybe we'll watch a video yeah. tonight when we're maybe. done. Maybe. And then, All I know is that I'm, I definitely am in love with the fish lips kiss heel. It's, it's easy to do. You don't add any, like, you don't have to count anything. Um, and it actually fits the heel, my heel very well. That's going to be my next heel when I'm doing, you should try it. I'm doing a pair of socks now. So I'm going to try that there. Yeah. Um, totally. German short rows are Amanda's favorites. Have you tried no wrap short rows heels? No, we haven't done a lot of heels. I know I've actually done one afterthought and then everything else for me has been, um, uh, which we'll call heel flap and gusset. Yes. That. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've only tried three heels myself. I did oh. one. So I'll do one true then. afterthought heel and um, like three heel flap and gussets and then the rest yeah. of the fish list. So I am, <clears throat> this is my knit for brains bag, little Harry Potter with this. Oh my gosh, the same Funko Pop that's in um, Naughty Knitting Sacks. I am knitting a vanilla sock on the Nomadic Did you yarns. say Naughty Knitting Sacks? It's not Naughty Knitting No, sacks. I said it's the same inside oh it's inside the oh yeah yeah, the yeah, one yeah, from yeah. Naughty Knitting sorry i should start paying attention I'm trying to read um, some comments so this is on uh, nomadic yarns abigail uses all the german short rows on this is the neville colorway so i made a little bit of progress since last week last week a i lot was of down progress. here at yeah. the progress keeper my yeah. platform nine and three quarters and i knit this i pretty much knit this all on thursday when in our uh knit night so I think I'm about like an inch and a half away from my adding in the heel. I think I'm going to do a full. I, I really love the colors and I hope it's showing. I hope I it's it, showing up I mean, well. On the TV, it looks like it's showing really well. Yeah. The colors, but I do. I love this um, green and brown and the gray. So yeah. I do. I think I'm going to try to do a full repeat and then I might add my heel like in the brown huh. on the next one. Like the, possibly. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to do. That should give me about seven inches. So I like to do a seven inch leg, then my heel, and then I knit about seven inches for my foot. Seven and a half, maybe. Um, but yeah, this is, so this is on Chagu's, this is the 32 inch Chagu cord on 2.5 millimeter. Yeah. And I do 64 stitches. So that is one whip. This is, yeah, I made a, a lot of progress, I guess. Nice. A decent amount. Yeah, you did. You I did. should work on it some more, though. Yeah. Well, you have other. You have two I've, other. I've worked on three other. I've worked on four projects, projects right this week. I have four yeah, whips I right now. I hear you. And I have two other things that I want to cast on. I have a lot of things I want to cast on. Oh. I, you know, what? I'm having fun like knitting them, and now I just want people to finish them for me. I think. And then so I can cast on something else. Yeah. No. No. All right. No, I'm just not. That's not true. Um, okay. So what, oh, so let me show you this so I can put it away. Cause this is making me a little bit nervous. So this is my, I literally just started the road city rollers. Ugh. Um, yeah, I literally just started the second pair yesterday, yesterday, like yet yeah, last night. And I had delusions of grandeur. I thought I would have the heel done um, and that like I can like kind of knit while we're doing this, just stocking that in the round. Um, but so these are, this is, this is the start of it, but these are the eight inch circular Addies, Addies there, um, which I really like. I, I love the needle. Addy needles I are do. my favorite. Yeah, I love them. Um, and then, oh, somebody's talking about the Hocus Pocus Advent. I know, I saw that. Kelly Trilogy Evans. Yarn. So check out Trilogy Yarn. 
folks because OMG. I don't, if she still has some. Oh, I don't know if she still has some. She's doing a um, uh, Hocus Pocus advent. She's doing a Christmas advent too. Yeah, she is. Oh yeah, she might still have some Christmas ones too. Um, so anyway, so I'm at the heel now. I'm not confident to be able to do the heel just yet on the eight inch circular needles. I feel like I would just like knock everything off and I was having trouble purling. Okay. With yeah, this, I, I would the small so. needles. Um, knitting, I'm, I feel like it's going very fast, but purling with them, um, it's a little slower. So I did them on, I'm having, I have them on DPNs just to do the heel. So I just, I just started the setup row there. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Oh, and here's the um, Sapphire Heather. Sapphire Heather is the colorway of my contrasting heels and toes. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's it. That's all she wrote. And I have this in my... Knit for Brains. Knit for Brains. Is she? Yeah, look. She Where? just popped in. Oh, hi, Laura. Look. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah, there's Laura. Knit for Brains. Check her out as well on Etsy. Knit for Brains Designs. She yes. has a couple of new bags. Hey, it does. I think I just saw on Instagram. There's a Care Bears one, which, oh, my God. Oh, I thought my gosh. Been, Care Bears is so cute. I know. And I should have done it. Ugh. I thought it would be nice to Care buy Bears. to get that, the Care Bear bag, and send it over to Chevis for her 80s oh. Mal. Wouldn't that have been really cool? God, I know, cool. but she finished it, the Mal. Oh, and, yeah, she did. And I... I don't know. Favorite I brand of DPNs. The only brand of DPNs that we actually have here. No, that's a lie. No, the only brand I think that I have are Knit Picks. Well, you. Oh, Nancy does have um, both Advents oh, still available. Oh, awesome. Oh, so great. She still has Hocus Pocus, which we are getting. Yes. Well, um, I am well, getting. Well, Ray's getting. <laughs> uh, and then there's still a Christmas it's gonna one. we we have a community yarn stash. Yeah, you say that now when it comes to things that I get, but what about all the stuff that you have? Upstairs? No, it all goes in the community bin. And then, but not then, everything in, goes in that community bin. Just saying, I made a grumpy bear face mask today. I actually saw, saw that, that Amy on Facebook. That's so awesome. Or just got done running on a treadmill. I did. I oh, had to good skip for my you. Workout. You got in a workout today. I, I did get a workout. In. I'll do mine tomorrow. I had a leg day. I got to get back Alvin, on track. Melvin, Kelvin, Kelvin, Kelvin is what I, Kelly and I call ourselves. That is our combined. Um, that's probably when we have a lot of drinks in us. Our combined name is Kelvin. And you Weave guys and both use the ah. Weave and Steven. Oh, so. I don't know how I feel about Weave and Steven, guys. I do. But then I always second guess myself and, and weave it in. I, like I leave a tail and I weave it in again. Absolutely. Um, like absolutely. going the opposite direction. It actually does not work really well when you're slipping stitches. Right. So I found right. that out the hard way. Yeah. And I don't, maybe on my heel flap and gusset, on one of my socks, I'd rip a lot back. Um, Totes. So let's see. So, oh, you're still running. Good for you. Wait, you're still running and you're watching us? Are we <laughs> motivating you? What if uh, we hold up some skeins of yarn? Here, come on, Laura. Come on, faster. Just kidding. All right, what should we, sh oh, here, I'm going to show this next. So next is... So this is in my Fat Wolco. Yeah. Bag. Oh, so we'll try to have show notes up. Yes, um, we will do, we'll do show notes. Yeah. We we kind of did show notes. Like, I tried to be a little bit, uh, I was going to say progressive, not progressive, proactive. She purchased the Grumpy Bear bag. Melissa Fauna said Who she was dying. It? Melissa Fauna, do you have a yarn shop? Do you sell yarn that you dye? Ooh. You should tell us. I feel like we're all over the place. If we haven't completed a thought, just ask again. Yeah, we, we don't. I don't complete. I feel like I'm not completing any life. thoughts today. I'm a little bit excited. This bag I won from Bingo with Fiber Hustle. Oh, go take your doggy for a walk. Buy butterfly crochet in it. Buy butterfly crochet in it. I love that name. Oh, oh there's, there's the Fiber Hustle boys. Oh, Lord. This is a really great bag. I do love this bag. Um, so this is my. Vertices United. Wow, show, you're showing United. the pattern like all over the place. What do you mean? There's the pattern. There is oh, no there's pattern. no pattern. Okay, I lied. Sorry. I was no, just, I was I'm, judging McJudge a lot. I know how to. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's Charlotte. Who? Well, oh, Charlotte. hi, Charlotte. We just watched, oh, yeah, um, we just caught up on your, one, the other yeah, day, your last podcast. Charlotte made the bag. Charlotte made and the she bag. She it to Fiber Hustle, and I won it during the What Gulf. a small world. Right? What a great community. So I'm working on Vertices Unite. I'm working on the large version, which is eight and a half feet long. 
I last time we were together, so last week, I was so here it is so far. This section is section one. It's so huge. This already. in itself I, is a shawl, guys. It I need really a is. shawl, and I'm gonna um, knit some more shawls apparently into the shawl. It's like you're gonna make five different shawls and just sew them all together. Yes. So last time I was up here and I got to like I was just about here last week on the podcast. I knit all this and now I've picked up stitches along this edge. I'm gonna hold it. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm not happy with this color combination that I've chosen here. I've chosen a light gray from Northbound Knitting with some speckles of green that you could see probably like here. And then I have my one of my favorite colors from Savvy Skeins, the Rusted Wagon Wheel. I don't like the way that they look together, so I'm gonna take it out. I kind of like them. These are, so these are the two colors I'm currently knitting with. Super squishy. But I, I don't know, I don't like, I think this one isn't helping this one out. So I do have pumpkin latte, pumpkin coffee. Pumpkin yep. coffee or pumpkin latte? Do you remember? No. I think pumpkin coffee coming from the cat lady. Andrea. Andrea. And it's a it's a very orangey brown yarn. So I think it's going to complement this color much better. Yeah. So I'm going to wait for that to come in. I'm going to take these eight rows out and I'm going to use that, I believe. But my only concern is that my whatever color I pair to go with this actually oh, see they look the coffee will be too dark has to match with this red. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to wait to see. Yeah, wait till it comes. Wait till it comes. Yeah. I haven't made a final decision. Yeah. I'm not sure. I just don't, you know what it is? I think the green in this one is throwing me off a lot. I don't, don't know. look at the green. I don't, I don't know look that. At the green. I, well, you can't, you can't see the green. That's why I don't look at it. <laughs> Hi, Freaky Geek. <laughs> wait, Freaky Geek. I know that name somewhere. And Chip and Aaron. Yeah, I know Chip I, and Aaron too. I know Hi, Chip, Chip and Aaron. Aaron. Oh, look, there's Dawn. We know Dawn and Valerie. So yeah, I, I have to figure it out. Oh my gosh, New Zealand's in the house. It's amazing. You have a live with only chat live? Wait, I don't know what that means. In case nobody mentioned it, you have a live with only chat live. Oh, we have two lives going. Oh, yeah, because we had some technical issues. Oh, that's so the, your fault. the first video was set up. I could probably stop the photo. Yeah. Let's see if I can. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for letting us know because we had everything set up. We chose our microphone, the camera, and all that fun stuff. And then I don't know what happened. We couldn't like go live. Yeah. Um, it doesn't show me the other one. No, no. I don't know, but we did have two. We had two things going. Oh, we'll have to figure that out. Yeah. So. Oh I my no gosh, idea. Sean's wait. So we have huh. to. Fig Sean just said that he's been waiting for like forty minutes on the other one. Really. Can we do it from like? Can you you try? Uh, no. Would you like me to try? Hi, Kevin and Ray. Hi, Bob in Seattle. Hi, Bob. Bob. Oh my gosh, I am oh, so Bob. sorry, guys. Hi, Bob. Are there people like lining up? Is to, it like waiting? Is it is it still showing there? I just see the one live. No, oh, no, I don't see any live. I don't have any videos. Oh, maybe the, I wonder. So Charlotte I don't know was happening. there, and then she refreshed, and then this one popped up. Yeah, are there still are there still two of them? I have no idea. Well, we have two hundred and twenty five people watching us. I'm a little. I'm so yeah. I'm I'm sorry, guys. I wonder if it's. I hope it's still. Oh, it says up. scheduled for six p.m. <laughs> what the hell happened there? Maybe All that's right. why we couldn't go live. All right. So so we'll are there. Hopefully, there is nobody over there. Yeah. Sorry. Wow. So this is um, well. I mean, maybe we can still come back on at six p.m. and have dinner with you all. <laughs> no. So yeah, we'll. Anybody want to have dinner together? We'll see how this one goes. Like I said. Oh I yeah, we're still showing things. Yeah. Yeah, we're we're actually we're doing. No, I just I like hanging out and just chatting with people. So we'll see. I'll I'll figure this one out. Um, thank you, Donna. Um, we will. Yeah. So sorry. 
I'm from Western New York in the middle of the big thunderstorm. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Keep um, it there. Thank you, Amanda. Sorry. So yeah, so this is my vertices unite. Here's my other colors um, that I will be using. Well, here's oh. that bag. On it, I cannot get over this bag. So, right. We have these two, which is the first section. They're actually showing really much brighter. This is a very dark red. This is probably truer. But see, like on the computer here, it doesn't show as yeah. bright. So maybe, maybe maybe it's just our TV. Maybe it's our TV. So yeah, these two are the first section. And then this is the this is um oh crap. This is earwax from Lolo Did It. Yeah. This is from the Dumbledore one. I still so have that skeined up. This one is going to be in a section by itself. Just because I think it's so pretty and um, yeah, I almost, I toyed actually with the idea of doing these two together. Those are very similar. No, this one no. is gray and orange. This is browns oh. and blacks. This has some black and some brown in it. So I thought about it, but. Oh my I God, you sat and waited for 40 minutes. I'm so sorry, Jim. Jim. Yeah, I don't know Aww. why that one was still showing. Shoot. Is there like an active chat over there? Can no. somebody like Am put... Amanda checked and Donna went in and told people that oh, okay. that one wasn't working for whatever Thanks everyone. Oh, I love you all. What a uh, great group. Yeah, of it, it's definitely some browns and golds. So this one, I don't know. But these are these all for sure. And then Well, that, your whole point you wanted to make it like a fall. Autumnal. Yeah, autumnal. autumnal. That's the 20 point word. So good job. Um so we'll see. So I think I'll see when the orange comes in yeah. that I'm waiting for. It should come in tomorrow or Tuesday, hopefully. Um, oh, no, I have enough yarn said no knitter ever. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So we'll see. I, I just, I don't know about the section. The The tricky part for me has been I have to match all these colors up anyways with the other colors in it. Yeah. There's very few that are being knit up by themselves. So it's just been um, a little bit of a challenge of figuring out how I want this how I want this to look in the bigger picture. So yeah. we'll see. I think, I, we, I think we, whatever you choose is really gonna, is going to look amazing. I know that you want to make it like perfect. So we'll see what, see what, um, I mean, I'm pumpkin, enjoying knitting it. It's yeah. knitting up. It knits up really quick. Yeah. See what the pumpkin looks like. Yeah. And then, uh, Todd, Michael Thomas did the, I did say, we talked about you for a long time. Yeah, we did. Sorry, yeah. Todd. Sorry. You missed it. Yeah. You missed the whole thing. Yeah. You're going to have to leave now. Um, too bad we don't have any moderators. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so that was, oh, what else? Oh, I have another, I have something. I think I have something. What's in this? Yeah, you should have something else, right? Don't you have three whips? Yeah, I do. Oh, shoot. I have four whips. I have four whips, too. I have four whips. I thought I only had three. I think by next week. Son I, of a gun. By next week, I might actually have six whips. Ugh. All right. Um. Shoot. What's that one? Well, this one is, oh, uh, yeah, okay. this one, I actually printed the pattern. It was on the table next to you. It was, but I, I don't know what happened. Is it underneath your vertices unite? Um, no? no. Okay. Well, is it under here? No. I don't see it. I don't either. How did we lose a whole pattern? Uh, don't put this on us. That was all you. I don't think it was just I'm me. I'm just going to drink my tea. All right, drink your tea. Well, anyway, this is in my fringe supply company bag. Aw, they're going out of business, guys. They are going out of business. God. Really quick, so Valerie C said in the last podcast you mentioned vanilla socks. So Valerie, for vanilla socks, I just do 64 stitches on a oh. 2.5 millimeter, and then I knit typically seven inches for, including my cuff, for my leg. I do my heel do about seven and it depends seven to eight inches for my toes um for my toes right until i reach my toe and then i do a kitchener toe and i knit down till i have 16 stitches on each needle so 32 mm -hmm. stitches so um i would recommend um susan b anderson's oh shoot What's smooth operator smooth operator socks it's a really good it's a vanilla it's pattern. a vanilla pattern um she tarquin walks you through it. what she said tarquin took the pattern yeah he probably did the little shit <gasps> um yeah simple pattern um walks you through an afterthought heel yeah sos by susan b anderson yep 
yeah, that that's the perfect. Yeah, it's a really good one. It walks you through all it um, does. DPNs, double uh, DPNs, nine inch circulars, and I don't know if she has magic. Loop. I don't know if she has magic loop, but maybe I no, she definitely has magic she loop. Might. Yeah, for sure. Um, um, there's yeah, and then on, and the Rose City Roller I think is a good pattern as well. Yeah. Um, there's a heel flap and gusset in there. Um, so you kind of just, yeah, try them out. The smooth operator I would recommend for sure. Yeah. And then as you get comfortable, I think with, you know, finding your recipe, um, you can kind of expand on it. I think another good one for kind of vanilla ish is vanilla latte socks. It is That's pattern though, right? The only pattern is it, it's, um, some ribbing, some additional ribbing in the leg and the foot, but yeah. that's a pretty decent vanilla sock. Very little, um, Yes, everybody loves Hermione's. We we need to try that. I'm we should try that. I should That's a, let's let's one of Lolo. Did somebody it's, remind me. We'll use one of our that. Dumbledore um, quotable Dumbledore skeins for it. And yeah, maybe I'll do the that. um the green one that you or the earwax that you pulled out. Okay. Yeah. So okay, this. so this is um I don't know where the pattern is now, but uh, this is Stephen West's um this. barn, Barndom, Barndom. Oh, you didn't get back to the green. No. So um, I had I had a little bit of an issue with this uh, pattern. But this is Stephen West's Barndom, which is absolutely here someplace. I swear. It's got – it's – Blueberry waffle socks are also easy. I didn't easy. go anywhere. You did a blueberry waffles hat? No, I did a um, – whatchamacallit hat. I, let's see if I can find it. Son of a gun. I did violet waffles. I have no idea. Anyway, this is so Stephen West uh, Barndom. It's actually, oh, I can probably pull it up on my iPad. It's totally fine. Oh, here it is, right underneath my iPad. Huh. So this is the Barndom. I knew I had it someplace. Um, by Stephen West. You have the option to do a two color or a three color shawl. Um, this is the three color version, which I think I'm going to end up doing. Um, so that's the three color version. There's a little baby Steven. He did a shawl oh, it's, thing today and I wish I it's went. Probably, is it during this? Because I feel like we always choose the worst times yeah, to like, like podcast. Oh, he's birthday, birthday, 40th birthday. <laughs> Stephen West first yeah. Zoom shawl yeah. class. Well, thank you all for being here. Appreciate it. Um, okay, anyway, so I started this. I did, um, I cast this on for our oh, hey, make along. Hi, bud. What's up, baby? Want to come say hi to the people? Come on up. Come here. I, I did this for our uh, Let's Hear for the Boys make along. This is using come Leading here. Men Fiber Arts. Oh. Come on. These are the two colors that I chose. Here. Um, this green one is called Dirty Truce. Wow, when you open that, like it just yeah, it literally I was, just. I, that's Dirty Truce. And then this one is Don't Fear the Reaper. Um, and this is in his MC, their MCN base. So Merino Cashmere Nylon. Um, the yarn is just amazing. I love it so much. I, um, I didn't really get much done. I just, I cast it on. Um, I did like 26 to 28 rows, I think it called for. And then you you know set up row to like start the color, add my second color in, which I added the second color in, um, but then my count was off somewhere. How do how do single podcasters do this? I have no idea. Yes, I did say that French Supply Company was going out of business. Um, they're done. I think they only have a few things left in their shop now. Yeah, and like as of this morning, they only had the olive color like bag. Yeah. So I love I love how this is knitting up. Um, it's very interesting. It's a lot more complicated than I thought it was going to be. I obviously didn't read the pattern through before I chose it, but it's okay. I'll I'll learn. So it's um there's slip stitches. Cables. Oh, there's Tarquin. Tarquin. You pee on that bag, I'm going to throw you out. Um, Go get him. Go get him. Hi. Go get him. Hi. Make ones and yarn overs. It's got like the whole gambit of things. 
it's got quite a lot. What are you doing? In the pattern. So um, I got, I had my count was off. So I ended up having to like rip back four or five or six rows, I think it was, which is very disheartening to be honest. So I, um, I put it to the side for just a, a little while and I'll pick it back up. I'll probably do it tonight. It's not necessarily TV knitting because the way that the pattern is, you have to keep track, keep track of each individual row. Um, so, so this is actually a very, um, this is a very heavy, uh, Stephen West man and it's episode because my next one is, uh, another shawl that I just cast on earlier this week because, Amanda Nitz also sent me a little birthday present along with our. Oh no, their local yarn. yarn shop is going under. It's so sad. A lot of, I mean, obviously, COVID has affected us in more ways than we could ever like. Yeah, totally. Think of, and it's affected a lot of businesses. Yeah. But Fringe, I believe that we were talking about it on Thursday night. Fringe Supply Company did say that they had planned on closing last year mm -hmm. and they extended their time to be open. Um, I just, so Sharon said, use a lifeline. So it's interesting. I'm going to put a yeah. lifeline in this now because I'm ready to add my next color. So I'm going to put the lifeline in because the other thing is I'm, um, he doesn't do a stitch count for every row. Um, so right now I'm at a point where there is a stitch count and everything matches. So I'm going to put the lifeline in and then, um, go from there. So he is a genius. I think he is a genius, but. So my next project is also Stephen West. I'm doing dotted rays. Boy, it is a Stephen yeah. West heavy episode. So I'm doing the dotted rays. I believe I'm going to go with the small. Right? Wait, can you just hold that hold that up again? Oh yeah, look so at the difference. This is yeah, right, baby Stephen and two wow. totally different Stevens, right? That's so crazy. Huh. All right. Sorry. All right, so Amanda Nitz. Steven, are you watching? No. I'm just kidding. Can you imagine? <laughs> Please. Amanda, Steven, are you out there? Amanda Nitz was very generous. I had asked her if she... Oh, yeah. Um, to let me know when she had this yarn back in stock so I could purchase some because I wanted to do um, dotted rays. Oh, they made and I had one skein, and I wanted three skeins so that I could do the large version. Uh -huh. So Amanda sent me some, for a birthday gift, oh, she sent look me how some beautiful more avocado is. toast. So I have my full- Well, is this, um, no, this is avocado toast? Yeah, this is avocado toast. She also has avocado spread. Right. Um, this is on her Cantus base, which is 80, 20, and it's uh, 400 yards for 100 grams. So I started working on this. I will tell you guys this. Um, the cast on is an I cord garter tab, and <laughs> that sounds really complicated. Right? I cord garter tab, and in the this pattern, it was made in 2014. Stephen West suggests doing a three stitch provisional cast on. I struggled so much with it that I went to YouTube and I looked up videos how to do this. My first video that I saw was Andrea Mowry's, she doesn't do the provisional cast on. Then I find one from Mr. Stephen West himself from two or three months ago where he says in prior or older patterns, he says to do a provisional cast on and that you don't really need to do the provisional cast on. That you could just do the three stitch, cast, uh, any three stitch cast on and work it like he does in his video. So once I did that, um, it made so much more sense. And I- Aaron said he made it five times. Did you do the provisional cast? I'm assuming it's Aaron. So I don't think here quote that. is my dotted raise so far. So you can kind of see the holes in it. Yeah. Right. So I actually really. Um, I love the speckling that's happening. I love that the green is following the um, yarn overs in this. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, and like right? a little like swipe. Like you can it. see that it's that it's following it really, really nicely. Hopefully so, it's showing up on the TV or yeah. if anybody's watching so, on their TVs. So I do. I love this. I love this colorway. I do have an idea. He said, hell no, he didn't. <laughs> um, good for you. Cause I try, I literally tried three times. I was like, no way at all. So this is going to be the small one would measure a 60 inch wingspan. That's why I'm think. So that's the small, I might, so that's five feet, right? I might do the, yeah, feet. I might do the large, which is 92 inch. 
But here it is so far. What I might do, yeah. though, and I'm not quite sure, I was thinking. Look at all of, the YouTube emojis. I didn't even know that they had emojis in YouTube on YouTube. I was thinking of using teddy bear with it. So I, I, I think the teddy bear can be used. I was thinking of striping some that's teddy pretty. bear. That's so really teddy pretty. bear is this dark brown. I was thinking about striping some teddy bear in it. I have some leftover from Ooh, this. Oh, that's pretty. So I may I may do a teddy bear stripe here or there. So this is um this is my pure joy that I showed off last week, right? Yeah. yeah. By Hohi. It's so nice. And this is Kevin. all trilogy yarn. Yeah. Oh, is this... our air conditioning bother bothering you? Oh yeah, guys? guys, can you hear I don't our even air know. conditioner? It's like 95 degree 93 degrees outside and um so yeah, this is the pure joy, but Oh, this is depth. Um, That's cute. This brown is teddy bear. And then this is little nugget. Um, so I think, awesome I think things. I may throw teddy bear in, into that shawl. Cause I think the brown, um, it'll pick up the little speckles. Of yeah. You know, what might not be a bad idea Kev, is to pick up a couple more skeins of just the teddy bear. Cause I feel like it's such a good neutral. Yeah. You know, that it can go with a lot of other, Oh, Todd, the Michael, the dog's outside. Outside? Yeah. He went outside. He you wants left to go the door out. open? Yeah, because he wants to go outside in his chair. Yeah, but what if there's a hawk or something? There's no hawk outside that's going to grab the dog. Stephen, uh, Teresa West, we just both did Boneyard. Oh, and yeah. I don't know that I will ever do another Boneyard again. If I do a Boneyard, it's not going to be a Boneyard because it's going to be all garter. Well, so I will do another Boneyard to try like to try if i if i can learn a different way to pearl like if i can do the tunisian no tongue. reverse knitting or reverse knitting norwegian or, nor yeah something somebody was like saying that. like a norwegian pearling or something there was no way in heck that i could have um, yeah i can't i can't pull that another one of those off i don't know if my mom is still on here but she um i gave that shawl actually to her for her birthday i don't yeah. know if i told you guys that that shawl was actually for her the whole time yep <laughs> So this is knit on size six, U.S. Oh, Portuguese. Yes, thank you, Valerie. Portuguese. What is the? What is it? Four millimeter? Is a six? Oh, you're gonna do the one skein storm shawl. Oh, cool. From Hohi. Oh yeah. Yeah. There was another. That somebody else nice. had a. Oh, is this Bastrico? Maybe had the. Um, has a new pattern out with the one skein. Of the fingering plus a mini, something like yeah, that. Yeah, somebody had mentioned that. I have to look yeah. at that one. Um, so, and this one is living in my. What's this? Twinkle and Twilight. Twinkle and Twilight. Marauder map. Yeah. Back. All right, so that's two of my FOs or two of my whips, rather. Oh, it looks like our lips aren't matching. Oh, we that always happens, guys. That's uh, right. It bugs me out. Hey, there's Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Oh, hi, Lucy. I saw Lucy. I forgot to say hi. Oh. Um. Cool. Hello from. I Pumper. have. Oh, there's oh, naughty, there. knitting sacks. naughty knitting sacks. Yay. Oh, welcome. Hello. Welcome, welcome. So, just a reminder, we do have that coupon code still uh, in play. Oh. We talked about it a little bit earlier. Um, prickly, prickly pants. pants. Prickle pants. Prickle pants. Prickle 15. pants. Fifteen. Um, we showed off some of your bags. Yep. So I do have another whip, which is actually living in naughty knitting sack. I'm gonna check on the dog. This is her large, um, large bag with cactuses, cacti. Um, I feel like every time I show something, he walks away. Whatever. Um, and so uh, viewer discretion advised. This is, this is, I can't even right now with these, these bags, I can't even. Um, okay, so this is my, living in here is my flax by Tin Can Knits. You knit flicking so you don't mind, huh? I tried flicking, but I can't tension the yarn correctly. This is Flax uh, Free Pattern by Tin Can Knits. This is also the very first sweater, my very first sweater. Um, this is a very, also a very good looking chap right there. So hopefully when I put on the sweater, I can look like you that. You said chap. Chap. Um, I didn't make much progress since I showed this last week. I did, I did a couple more rows. Um, during uh, a virtual knit night. So I was, yeah, I was here. Um, so I knit about, 
don't know. I did a little bit, a few rows, nothing major, but um, but I love it. Yeah, I really do. I, I do think love the, the color, color is great. Um, I love how it's knitting up. I'm using is this Max? No, that's Vincent. Yes, stitch marker. It's the yarn is super soft. It's um, swish. By uh, I was gonna say by Tim Candidates, but no, by Knit Picks, yep. Swish in their worsted, um, in Garnet Heather, it is 100% fine superwash merino. It is so soft, I can't even handle it. How soft this is. So, that is that, and that is living in the sweater size. I don't know what she it's such a these. great a, size oh, bag, a, guys. Oh my god, a huge, but it gets huge, ridiculous. Huge. That's what she said. Valerie spent the whole morning with us. You watched the last podcast and then this. Oh, thank you, really? Valerie. Oh, hi, Valerie. That's awesome. Thanks. I love how you're trying to keep... Oh, thanks. He's trying to keep what? The dog happy. Oh, yeah. We try to. Yeah. All right. So let's see. He dictates our life. Up next, this is a crochet project. Hmm. I haven't crocheted in a long time. This is the Perfect Pocket Shawl by Sonia Hood. Ugh. Ugh. We're both crocheting one. Mine is in my own bag that I bags by Kevin. Bags by Kevin that I sewed up. It's coming a to an Etsy one. shop. Never. Um, and this is on the. <laughs> this is Lions Brand Heartland in Kings Canyon. So it's a nice hunter green. That's like um, looks tweet. It's like Tweety. No, is this or is it marled, like, marled almost? almost. Yeah. So marled. I've. It looks mild. I haven't done much because I'm not so great at crochet, but this is where I'm at so far. Yeah, but that's Ray great. did do my um, chain, my first chain, because I'm not very good at chaining. Right. So, well, you know, you are. You just weren't. So I'm on my third oh, section, I guess, my third repeat of this section, and it's on a nine millimeter hook. So we only had one. We actually had to buy another hook. So we're making this one's going to be Ray's making the one for his mom. I'm making one for his mother's friend, Maggie. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. So now I have to say that I think yours, the, the yarn yeah. that you're using, I think is uh, fluffier, softer. And so like the eyelets and like the, but they my, don't look as big. The half double crochets. These are half double crochets. Yeah, yeah but mine is 100% acrylic. Yours has some wool in it. Yeah. So yours is going to be different. Once you're, you're going to be able to block. Yeah, yours. maybe so when yours I block may it. bloom a little yeah, bit once so. you wash it. So yeah, I, this is something I'm just going to kind of like work on, um, like here and there because it's going to be for fall and winter. But um, it's nice to kind of get some of my crochet back because I've only crocheted some pumpkins before. Yeah. And some pot holders. So that's kind of like the extent of my crochet life. Yeah, but it's great. It's going to yeah. be a really good, it's going to be a, it's a big project. Yeah, it's a big, I think it's like five skeins. Yeah. So I'm doing the same, um, except I'm using a different yarn. And you can definitely tell the difference. So this, the yarn that I'm using, let me show you that first. The yarn that I'm using is Lion's Brand Retweed. That was just me knocking on the table. Tark, Tark it was not a firework. Oh, the dog. It's fine. Out. So Go this ahead. is a recycled tweed. It is. Um, do, 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 do. It's forty percent wool, forty percent polyester, twenty percent acrylic. It's. It's. Um, Oh, it feels like oh, it feels like cotton. Yeah, it almost feels it's like it's very cotton. sticky, like a um, yes. This reminds so me of uh, sugars and cream cotton. The, yeah, the, the so I'm I'm it. not I'm not getting I'm not getting in a I like I like it. I'm just not getting in like a huge flow, um, because the yarn keeps kind of getting stuck. Yes, you know, um, and the way that it it's almost heavy with the humidity. I think. Yeah. So I don't know if I'm hoping that it blooms for sure. Um, but 
I think it's so for this though. yarn. I think it's I think it's beautiful. I think this is going to be really. Uh, what was that noise? It was reverse sneezing. Oh. I think this is really, you know, it's going to be really pretty. It's very long. Um, the nine, the nine, um, nine hook, I think I probably could have gone down to an eight and it been, um, Crafty Lucas. I know that name. Crafty Lucas just released a design. He did. Right. Crafty. Oh, I bet that would be nice with a hood. I believe Crafty Lucas, right? So this is te this is meant to be worn, you know, like this. It's going to be a square shawl, and uh, it'll have pockets, you know, here. Yeah. It already looks big. It does. And quite honestly, guys, I have a lot to go. Um, so I use I use Knit Companion a lot, um, especially with so like I'm using it for. I don't want to show you too the pattern, but I'm using it for the Stephen West shawl. Um, and I'm also using it for this. I don't use Knit Companion. It's I, really, I like, it's really easy. So I like, just like paper. I know, but this, this tells me like I'm on row, you know, I've done 12, I'm on row 12. I've done four repeats of this one, oh. and, you know, whatever. But so I'm on, I'm on row 12 oh. of 30. And then I have to do this border again. So this is, I might have to cut this back a little bit because this is going to be absolutely gihugic. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough yarn for it. You'll have to see. Yeah, then, we'll have to see what it is. Um, see, they love Nick Companion. Yeah. It has row counters. So you know what I was <gasps> oh doing? Oh my gosh, that's what? so funny. All right, you continue and then I'm going to say some stuff there. Okay, so for Nick Companion, I'm going to take this off because I look like... Um, so with Nick Companion, you know who's having a very pink knits? is having a tutorial on Knit Companion right now. And there's a there's like a paid for version and a free one. And I'm using the free one right now. But I guess with the paid for version, you can like take little snippets of the actual pattern yeah. and put it in like the notes below and have your row counters be like, auto, like automatically highlight the next repeat and then go back to the top and highlight the next repeat. Yeah, pretty cool. I know, I, I do, I'm so, all right. So I'm gonna go up real quick because I want to say Diana M said, oh, her seven-year-old daughter just said, boys knit too, and she said yes. So hi, Diana M and your daughter. And then hi. right above it, Mary Pat Trainer said, love Nick Opinion too. But I was going to mention, this has been something really cool. So um, Mary Pat's made some comments on our videos. Um, and she works with some young men who have been watching the podcast and have gotten into um, knitting. And she emailed us recently and she sent us a picture from Marshall. Marshall's one of the guys that, uh, the young men that she works with who started knitting. And so we just wanted to say hi to all them. Um, it's- Yeah, hi guys. It's been, it's really great to hear that we've kind of, um, I don't know, did we like inspire? Is I don't know, right we've, we've affected people and like, yeah. I don't know, it's just weird. It's really weird to me. It's it's to have some type amazing. of impact like that on, yeah. on this group. Uh, I think it's 12. I think she works with 12 um, young men. So it's really awesome to hear that they are knitting and, you know, that they get to watch us. Yeah. So hi, you guys. And we look forward to getting pictures of all the stuff that they're working on. Absolutely. Yeah, it was really, it was really amazing. Yes, inspiring courage. Mary it was really, really awesome. So, yeah, yeah, so it's really good. Like, that's one of... Every time I see one of the comments from her on that group, it's uh yeah, me too. It, it's a, it inspires us. Oh, it's Tark, when you are, uh, we're not doing. Yeah, we have work. a while to go. We're not doing fire work attitude today. No. And then Aaron asked about our hands. When do your hands feel different after knitting and crocheting? And mine absolutely do with crocheting. Yeah, I have more pain in my hands from crocheting. I think I hold things tighter. Well, so my uh, my left hand hurts. My left hand cramps up a little bit. Um, because it depends on the yarn that I'm using when I crochet, I think. Hi. Right? Does it depend on your yarn that you use? So the, um, like this yarn, I, I can't crochet for long periods of time because it it's, it's so like sticky almost that I have to like, you know, keep like flicking, like to like draw the, the yarn up and then I get frustrated. And yeah, I, I cramp up a little bit more with that. You're cute, Tar. You're a cute dog, huh? 
Okay. All right. So that's so, on my website thing. I showed four. Did I show four? I hope yeah. I showed four. Um, I feel like I I don't even really know. Um, oh, you're from CT Wendy Book Wendy Boo Book Wendy, Wendy, Wendy Boo Wendy, Wendy Boo Wendy Book Knits. Um, Hello. Hello, CT. You won me over on your first podcast when you explained your vision on why you started the podcast. Aww. Oh, thank you, Helen. Thanks. Yeah, it's it's really awesome. I'm we're enjoying this. I think we should do before we jump into like all we have left to talk about are Mal's and Cal, right? Mal's and Cal's. So should we show off um, for all the people who are just prizes. joining? Just our oh, we'll um, do like a little recap. Just of them and it's um, yes, the colorways. Okay, so we are currently. Wow, we currently have 264 people watching us, which is yay! I can't believe that. I didn't even know if anybody was going to come. I was like, <laughs> oh, from crazy. Bethel. Well, hello from oh, Bethel. Oh, hi from Bethel. I mean, hi to Bethel. I'm, we're from Connecticut. I mean, from Stratford. So hi from Stratford to Bethel. This is Tarquin. Right, baby. You Who's on it? TV? Do you see yourself? Tark, do you see yourself on TV? Okay, so Amanda Nitz. Um, we'll. Uh, We'll recap. She has some pre-orders. We had an opportunity to collaborate with her and choose some custom colors. And she's going to put those in her shop as a pre-order, which they are apparently, I guess, now. They are available now for pre-order. So Kevin and I kind of chose some colors, and here they are. We showed it in the beginning of the podcast um, already. So these I, I love them I so even, much i, I can't, can't deal with how i want to like are. just put these on the wall and like frame them i can't even so these are called exploding cornish pixies exploding cornish pixies freshly caught cornish pixies and so that was what um i had given her some like blues and yellows as an idea and she just kind of went with that it's amazing and i went with blues and oranges and we have the Rise of Fox. Yeah. So this I, it looks so great. Like I can't even. No, Wendy, we haven't been to Webs. We no, to but to I want to go to Webs so bad. Aren't they in Massachusetts? So, they are. They're right over. So guys, if you love these colors, these are set uh, fifty percent superwash merino, fifty percent silk. Yes. Amanda is currently taking pre-orders on her website, which is amanda-knits.com. Go check her out. We love her. She's a lovely person. These colors are beautiful. I love them very much. Like, look, oh my gosh. I know. I know. All right. So okay. that's that. That's that. Um, do you have any dream knitting? Dream? Yeah. Like, well, what, I want to like, do. What, what are you going to do? I have two projects that well, I need to cast on. I want to cast on another sweater. I really, I really want to do um, the Montrealer. Yeah. I really do. Yep. I think that that would be really awesome. I would love to have that for the fall. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's. Cool with the hood and the pocket in the front. I think that would be really awesome. That's on my list too. It's not one yeah. of my next ones. It's probably after the two that I want to do, but that's that's up there. That's one I would like to maybe do by the end of the year. Yeah, I, I have to finish the sweater first, obviously, and see how I feel about the construction. I mean, there's not really any more construction. I have to pick up the sleeves and knit those. I'm assuming it's going to be similar. You know, the Montreal kind of construction is top down. Um, I know you have to do like do a different collar. So there's something do something different but yeah montreal are so pretty orange yeah. and blues are the colors i'm working with blue is the main color oh that's great mm. i love orange and blue together i think Me orange too. is such a beautiful neutral i yeah. really really do um my my two are i actually have to cast on my view surround. i've been holding off i still haven't figured out yeah. my tubular cast on how i want to handle that right but then i want to do simple hug party mm. by cozy up knits um i'm gonna do one of those too so i want to I bought the pattern. The pattern, they give some instructions kind of, it's made for DK and mohair, but they give instructions for like just DK or just a worsted. Um, it's knit on 10 and a half and 11 inch needle or mm -hmm. 10 and a half, US 10 and a half and a US 11 needles. So I believe uh, we have enough DK upstairs and we have enough worsted that I could go one or the other. Yeah. Um, but I do yeah. want to knit it and I want to, um, Wendy wants to know what the tattoo is on your inner arm. Oh, Somebody so asked earlier. It's, oh, they did? Yeah. Um, so it means family. So I have I have mine here. Um, my brothers and my dad have one in the same spot on their arm. And my mom has one as well on her ankle. Yes. So it means family. I, I didn't have a tattoo. I wanted to get a tattoo for a, a while, but I'm the type where it needs to kind of like mean something to me. So um, my brothers bought me bought me a tattoo. Yeah. I want to say like 10 years ago, maybe. 
It's been a while. It's been a while. I think um, Robbie so still was, lives in Florida. Yeah. So um, right. so that's that. Yeah. I don't have any. My idea for a tattoo, my initial one, was going to be the Deathly Hollow symbol, but I wanted the- Probably has 20. Oh my gosh. Um, I want the Deathly Hollows, and I was going to do the triangle as uh, double pointed needles, and then the middle as a ball of yarn, and then the wand in the middle as like a straight needle. But now that kind of resembles our logo. So I actually am thinking, I would kind of think it would be cool to do the Deathly Hollows as the the circle would be the rebel symbol from Star Wars, and then each um, line of the triangle would be a lightsaber. That'd be really cool. So I could do a blue, a purple, a yellow. I don't know about a red, mm -hmm. but so these were our logos. I'm, I know we showed them last yeah, time, exactly. but I don't know how well they showed up. Oh, oh no. man, it's not. It's just some of a gun. How about this one? Oh, that shows uh, up much better. I love the white. I do. I, really I like the white the too. White. Me too. I love the white as well. Um, but we're going to use both. So it's really so cool. So Charlie said we should get the logo as I said to We thought about it, but then it'd be matching. And I wanted my, and my first, I, I have two ideas for a tattoo. Like I really want a really intricate one um, in memory of my dad. Like I want an yeah. old school camera with film coming out of it. And somehow I want the poem footprints depicted in that film. Um, so that's one that I would really love to get. But my first one, I wanted Deathly Hollows. but Star Wars is really probably my favorite movie series of all time. Like I love Star Wars and I love Harry Potter. So if I could find a way to get those to combine, I think that'd be really cool to rebel symbol with lightsabers. It'd be a that would Star be really Wars. Cool. It'd be a Star Wars Deathly Hollow. Huh? Yeah, that would be cool. Um, okay. So yeah. So now so, let's talk about our Malice and Cal. Yeah. And then we'll wrap it up. Yeah. So, so we'll wrap it up. We have a giveaway. <laughs> Oh, we do have a giveaway. Actually, crud. We have a giveaway, yeah. guys. We have a giveaway for um, our three thousand subscribers. Yeah, we do. So, do you want to do that now? Yeah, let's do that now. So, we are giving um, away two pat patterns valued at ten U.S. dollars to two people who um, entered in the Ravelry group. We had eighty-nine entries. We had ninety-one entries. Ninety-one entries. I locked the thread before we started this. Yes. Sorry. You hadn't already. So we understand that, you know, Ravelry obviously is a um, a little. That's okay. You got here late winter. We're all right. Winter? Wil Wil Wilter. My eyes are getting a little foggy. <laughs> um, so until we figure out another, um, like, I was going to say venue, but like another outlet type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ravelry is just kind of the best. Ravelry was it's the easiest, easiest thing to do giveaways to for, honestly. Yeah, yeah. we um, don't have a website or anything like yeah. that. And um, so anyway, um, so we had ninety-one entries, and we asked, um, "What your favorite super or what superpower? If you can have any superpower, what would it be and why?" And so, well, lightsaber knitting needles—that would be awesome. Right. Michael, get on that right away. Um, don't start crying. Eyes getting foggy. I know. <laughs> Don't cry. Okay. So should we ask? Is it, let's see what other people's. Um, Alexa, give me a number between two and ninety-one. Your random number between two and ninety-one is eighty-one. Eighty-one. What did all yours say? <laughs> eighty-one is on. Should be like the one of the final pages, right? Oh yeah, There's because we're there were ninety-five 90 per page. Okay. I thought Michael said five. five. <laughs> um, oh my God, 81. All right, I'm going there. I just couldn't figure it out. 81. This is from Billin87. That would be cool if you were here. Um, She said she would love super speed so she can get more projects done. Oh, that's a good And one. a lot of people actually... Yeah. Said that. So this is, oh my gosh, she's from Sweden. This is Christina from Sweden. She's probably sleeping right now because Sweden is very Sweden is six hours far ahead away. No, I think Sweden's oh, like look, six Oh, look, one eight. of her favorite curse words is frack. 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 So, Bill in 87, um, we are going to give you uh, some time. Yeah, so if you... Uh... Reach out um, to, to reach out to us. If not, we'll reach out to you. 
Um, and, and then just um, pick so up let us know what kind of what pattern that you would like. Sell you that ten dollars. Yeah, ten U.S. dollars, US. and we will. Um, I should probably I should have had like a note note paper. That's right. Note and pen. then we have one more, so we will. We have do, one more. What is it? Two in ninety-one. Okay. Yeah. Alexa, pick a number between two and ninety-one. Your random number between two and ninety-one is thirty-eight. 38. 38. Lucky number 38. Who's got 38? Oh, I feel like we're playing like bingo. Hey, we're why we haven't had a bingo. Have we? Aaron. Oh. He said, have we? <laughs> Aaron. 38. No, they said something on their I know they were gonna hold off. Okay, so this is RBM. Um says, congrats uh, on 3000. You've enjoyed your podcast from the first one and always look forward to the next. With so many superpowers, I would love the one that allows me to let those with medical knowledge, i.e. those with medical degrees in infection control and diseases, to make the laws in regard to COVID and politicians would not be able to make them. Wow. Okay. Well, congratulations. It's an interesting superpower. What would yours be? I right. want to be a male version of Gene. Well, this is Renee from Wisconsin. She likes everything except for pink and coral. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so get back to us, um, and we'll make sure that we um, get you out of pattern that you want. So I always used to say like I would want to like fly or something, but I'm not quite sure. I would want to be the male version of Jean Grey. Well, but that if you had to choose one superpower, but so like that's different. She has telekinesis. So like I would say right? like oh I would want to be like Superman or something. Well, I guess, but she has telekinesis. She does have telekinesis. So I guess I would go telekinesis. Yeah. But some of these, we're going to leave this thread up so people can kind of like still browse. Yeah. Um, sure. Just give us But a, a lot of people somebody. were saying um, like speed. Um, okay. One person okay. said like they wish they had like 13 arms so that they can like. Knit faster, but speed faster. would solve that problem cure too. for COVID. That would be a Can good you imagine one. if you yeah. had a superpower to cure like Phoenix. anything for other yes. people? Which version Here's of telekinesis right here. Which version of Jean Grey? Oh, I could use, I could knit all day and use my power to do chores and other things. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. I would definitely be a wizard though. I would And too. a superpower. Like if I could live in Harry Potter world and be a wizard, I would do that yeah. over having a superpower, I think. Hmm. But then I would probably be a Jedi I over I like reading all. these, these are good. I think I would be a Jedi over everything, but I don't know, Jedi and Harry Potter wizard is right they're kind of right there i don't know so oh right, so so now let's, like what you want to be yeah so let's or. talk about okay uh, so, right, so we have two mal's cows going on our first one is our stress-free which we're running with amy from happy little yarn and andrea from the cat lady podcast yes and so we just wanted to um show we talk about it a lot we just wanted to show the prizes to you guys since we don't get to show them often. yeah we said like last time that you know because our podcasts have been running a little bit longer than yeah. so this one we said we wanted to we have if we want to do it an hour and a half we have seven minutes okay so would you mind handing me those please? i don't mind so we we're going to show our i thought we were going to do a shout out but we're not going to do a shout out okay so, so the prizes for the stress-free and both of the cows actually end on the 31st of august, august 31st yes the first prize this is going to come from the fo thread for the stress-free is some yarn donated to us by Nancy from Trilogy Yarns. So we have these two colorways. Oh, I love, I forgot how much yeah. I loved those. Um, Siren Song here. Yep. And Enchanted Forest here. These are 80, 20, and 400 yards for 100 grams. This is on her Glamorous base. Yes. Which is super soft. It's and so cushy. soft and delicious. So I do. I. I love this yarn. Um, yes. We thought that these went really well together. So that's why we're, we've kept these together and we're going to send them out for one kind of like the big FO thread winner. So this is one for the, or like, yeah, it just, well, I must fell. so these are the first one. Okay. And then we have one for the chatter. And then we're going to pull one for the chatter because we've had such amazing um, donations. donations. So, we're gonna pull. We're gonna pull a winner from the chatter. Well, and a Jedi wizard. Jedi wizard would be yeah. awesome. Do you remember? Uh, we're, 
teacher. So student. this is from a yarn to die for designs. Um, this is in the color imaginary friends. That's so pretty. It's a DK weight yarn. This is DK. It's hundred grams, 246 yards. It's very soft. Yeah. Um, it's in her Taurus base, hundred percent superwash Merino. It's an eight ply. That's such a like plump yarn. Yeah. It's really pretty. Look at the speckles on the back. I know. I love that. Yeah. Really cool. Um, so we're going to give that away. And we're also going to, from Knit Swag, if you haven't checked out Knit Swag, check her out. She's on Etsy. Um, we showed this a couple of podcasts ago, the knitting graph paper. What? Todd Michael said it's so My Little Pony. Absolutely. Oh, it totally is. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, a little, it really is, pony. actually. It's very, very pretty. Um, imaginary friends. Um, and this is Knitter's Graph Paper, which is really cool because you can see the individual stitches, like the stitches. So instead of the regular, you know, just boxes, you actually have the stitches. So you can see like where the legs of the stitch are. If you need to do some intricate color work, you can kind of make some cool patterns and all that. So that is, um, that's going to be, we're going to draw from our chatter thread. Yeah. And then For that. Um, hello, one and all former resident of Connecticut, now living in Arkansas, knitting and crocheting. Blee. Well, hello, Blee. Hello. Oh, Yoda. Hello, Yoda rocks. What? All right. So our next one is for our- Oh, let's... Helen caught, um, um, caught her Nancy's podcast. podcast. Awesome. Hi, Nan everyone. Make sure uh, you go and it's stress-free now. Oh, yeah. Birdie is telling me, told me that, uh, Nancy's going to have another podcast maybe on Monday. Yeah. And- uh, Amy from Happy Little Yarn also mentioned. Um, so the stress oh, yes. free is Thank being you. run with the three of us. You can triple dip, triple dip. You totally. can post your FOs and chatter in all three. Yes, all three of us are doing separate prizes. So feel free to head over to their um, podcast and their Ravelry groups. Yes, and post in there as well. Yep, we all have um, very. We have very similar criteria for entering. Um, so feel free. Yeah. Um, so our second. Cal is the I just let's hear for the trilogy yarn conquest. Yeah, I don't know if I know the conquest. I know I'm, I write that down so we could look. Okay. Um, so let's hear it for the boys, which is just kind of a way to again highlight men in the community, I guess. Yes. Right. Um, yes. Dyers, designers, and patterns that are either written for men or unisex that a male will wear type of thing, um, and. That's kind of why the podcast was started to kind of highlight. I'm gonna let those, the dog outside. Yeah, to kind of highlight those aspects oh. in the knitting community, and we do that a lot, right? A lot of um, podcasts do specific designers or um, specific designers or dyers. So we thought it would be good to do um, it for the guys, right? So this first one is for our FO thread. This was donated by Leading Men Fiber Arts. So it is two skeins of yarn and a pattern. The two skeins of yarn are on their showstopper base. This is the colorway trap door, which is so I like I looked at this yesterday, knit up on their site, and I'm like, oh my god, this knits up beautifully. Um, and this is the haunted wood. So this is um, 800, or I'm sorry, 463 yards. 75% super wash merino, 25% nylon. And the pattern it is coming with is the dramatic swing wrap, which is a pattern by Megan Williams. So you get this, a nice like hard cover or hard copy of it. So really pretty, really generous of Steve and Andy. Um, yeah, that know, was so totally incredible. I could not even. Us. I actually feel like I'm. We might be buying more yarn from them. Oh my soon. god! I know. Possibly for the simple hug, Cardi. Well, I might add. I might buy a third color. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking um, a different, a green. I think a red. I should have mentioned that before. I, I think, think a red. red. Yeah, I think you should do red with it. Really? Yeah. And then our next two prizes both come from the same dyer. This is going to be for our chatter and our Instagram. So one of these, they're both from Zoe Yarns. Who donated Zo yarns? Yes. So check like, out Zo yarns for sure. Yarn is, I can't. This is this is probably um, one of my favorites. This is colorways. one of my favorites. This is Gothic Pride. I'm actually yeah. I'm pretty sure we're gonna buy some of this. Yeah. Oh, I think it's that? such um it's the tie. Oh. Oh no. It's such a fun take on the rainbow. Yeah. Such a like 
it's so different. It's such a dark, should we say gothic? Yeah, uh, gothic take, right? rainbow. Take on the rainbow. I think it's amazing. Like yeah. this is such a great yarn. Yeah, like, totally. Such a great colorway. Absolutely. Um, so that that is um, Zo yarns, and they are on. But the twist on this, can you, is, did you guys see? Can you see the twist on this? Yeah, it's a really great twist. Yeah. So this is Zo Yarns. It is so different. Um, right? They are Zo Yarns Paris Etsy dot com and yep. Zo Yarns Paris at Instagram. Yep. Um, so again, we'll have show notes for this. Um, we will have that below, and I will actually go back. I've been really bad. I normally put the show notes in Instagram or no, no. Ravelry, and I have not been. So I'm going to do that today. I'm going to go for any episodes that are missing. <laughs> Adriel just said nine inch circular needles. <laughs> and the second one is also from Zo Yarns. This is another, again, another beautiful colorway. Uh, the speckling on this is like, is amazing. This is dark and stormy night. What's his base? I'm sorry. I'm sure you said it. This, uh, this one. Oh, this one is 100% Superwash Merino. This one was 75.25. Oh. All right. This is another high twist. It's a very nice gray, and then there's some speckles of, like, greens, blues, mm -hmm. um, and blacks in here. It's very – it's a tonal gray, too. It's much darker on this side than it is on here that you can see now. Um, so this will be – uh, the let's hear for the boys hashtag is hashtag NATR boys 2020. Thank you. Welcome. And it ends on August 31st. Yes. So well, things are, you know, we still have the rest of this month and all of August. Um, so, you know, yeah. Yeah. We're already planning two new yeah. ones to start in September. We are. And then we have ideas for one to start in November, I think. Right. September and November. Yeah. So that's kind of, yeah, N-A-T-R boys 2020. Yes. So that. Um, and you know what? So we do follow the hashtag. If you if you use the hashtag, can you tag us yeah, in it tag as well? Us too. Um, because sometimes I miss. Yes. Sometimes I miss seeing the entries and I like, um, I like to see them. Yeah, I love seeing yeah. the entries. Um, so yeah, um, I think that's everything that we have. We're going to do a normal recorded podcast next week. Yeah. Um, uh, what else? I think that's everything. Ooh, it inspired you to do your first sock, Jimmy? Oh, nice. Jimmy. Awesome. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think I, uh, I feel like I think that we hit everything yeah, that we, we wanted to hit for this. In circles a little bit. I hope we said we got a chance to say hi to a lot a lot a, lo a lot of you guys. Here. I hope so. Um, I hope we I hope you know what I appreciated though too is like people talk to each other. <laughs> yeah. Which I think is really good. And that's another thing about Ravelry too, is that um, you know, besides it being not accessible for some, which, um, you know, I'm very sorry if, um, oh, if okay. that's been a struggle for you, but I appreciate that the community, like everybody's like encouraging each other and talking to each other and, and all that. Really so, cool. um, yeah, guys, we are thinking, I know we mentioned it in the podcast last week. We are thinking of doing a needles at the ready Instagram, but the needles at the ready is taking. Yeah. So we either have to do like needles at the ready podcast which I'd still so let's actually work. let's get your idea. So um, comment below this video once it goes live. With your normal comments, sure you can, but okay. our usually our live videos don't get as many comments. Um, so comment below this video, and let us know um, about the Instagram if you if you would like to see a needles at the ready Instagram. So we can't use needles at the ready. Um, so we we're thinking like, or give us some suggestions. We were thinking like NATR podcast podcast. We were thinking needles dot at dot. Yeah. The dot ready yeah. type of thing. Um, or underscores or like needle dot at the dot ready. Right. So that may be it. So um, I kind of like NATR podcast as well, but, um, but we'll see, like, see what you're. Yeah. We're, we're just trying to just so uh, that it's enjoy your up. nap, Mandy. I know. Enjoy. I need some more coffee or tea in my life. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're, we just, we wanted to make it recognizable to just like needles at the ready. Like for instance, and this is one that we, like we were looking at what some other podcasts have done. Should like, be nine inch circulars. Nine, nine, nine inch, inch circular, circular needles. Like um, grocery girls are grocery girl knits because grocery girls was taken. 
Uh, so we'll see. We'll figure it out. And I see. I like how it looks in ATR podcast. I know. There was something else I wanted. Well, let to, us know. Um, oh my gosh, Charlie! People. I can't. We can't ask somebody. To give I know. Up be your like, name. um, hey, can you give up your name yeah. because we really need? We're it. taking over. We're taking um, over the internet. So yeah. So. Uh, yeah, just thanks again to everybody. Um, I want to say thank you. Uh, hi to all the new viewers and subscribers that we've had yeah. over the past. Like, We're coming, bud. Uh, do you want to come say goodbye so. to everybody? Do you want to come up? Come here. Where's come Ray? Say goodbye. Come say hi to Ray. Come here. Hi. Come, come here. On. Get up here. Come here. All right. Um, so thank you everybody for all the love. Um, yes. All the support. And we check out. So chatting. we will have show notes, but really, um, you know, end. check out Zoe Yarns. Check out Trilogy Yarn um, by Nancy. Amanda Nitz. Amanda knits for pre-orders for the pre-orders, uh, naughty knitting sacks, um, and use coupon code pricklepants15. Yeah. And, um, I think that's, I think everything. that's everything. We really so, enjoyed hanging out with you guys. Yeah. I love doing um, this. Um, really like, honestly, I, 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 I love the lives. I love when we get a chance to do them. Yeah. Um, it's definitely a different feel too. Yeah. But it's, uh, it's, I love, you know, what also is, is a good thing is that we don't have to wait for it to upload to YouTube absolutely it's like there yeah and so i will i usually do watch these back he does every single the one. lives because i like to see like the chat sometimes we miss stuff oh oh yeah he does he reads the chat i again. read the chat after um, it's all up so thank you everybody anyway I hope you guys oh excuse me i hope you guys have a good week we yes. will be recording next saturday so we will have an episode probably up this time next saturday yes so have fun knitting enjoy um enjoy your, week. your weekend stay, if you're in your a week. hot place stay out of the heat enjoy yeah. the air conditioning and um, we will see you guys next time. That's Thank it. you. Bye. Bye, guys. Maybe not because I don't know how to end the stream. Hit oh, end stream. hit end stream in big red. Okay, <laughs> bye. Bye, guys.